Hi, good afternoon, good morning, good night. We are back to Buenos Aires session. We'll have two presentations more. And uh, Thomas Pohente is already here with me. I'll put him in, in the stage. Hi, Thomas, how are you? Hi, thanks, good, good. Um, I, I think you have everything ready, right? I hope so. For the presentation? Yes, okay, good. Uh, you, ca you can share your presentation and, and then I'll add the presentation also to the stage. Oh, you are sharing your own screen? Yes? Uh, yes, yes. Yes, but you can share both. You can share your, your camera and can share your presentation. Right down there is a share button where you can share your presentation, but wherever you like. I think as we have it, it's also good. So. We'll start uh, at, the, at this time. So the floor is, is yours. Please introduce yourself and have a nice presentation. Thank you. So, hello and welcome to the presentation about open map tiles. My name is Tomáš Pohanka. I am working for map tiler as geodata specialist. And one of my duties is maintaining open map tiles project. What I, what I would like to present to you today is, of course, about Open Map Tiles project. And we are going to start with a little bit of history. Then we will move to the current state of Open Map Tiles. And, of course, what new features and functionalities will be in the next release. And we will talk about ideas for future development. First of all, I would like to introduce Open Map Tiles project. Open Map Tiles is open source project which allows you to convert open street map data or any other spatial data through PostgreSQL database to vector tiles in MB tiles format. All stack is fully dockerized. That means that from importing data to generating vector tiles is running in Docker. What data will be included in vector tiles is easily and fully manageable in SQL files and YAML files. The styling and the vector style is also fully customizable and the entire styling process is done on the client side. Open Up Tiles project is here for almost five years with continuous active community development and the whole time maintaining by Mapter team. With active community development, there are constant improvement on data side where we keep adding new features or optimizing the current data. And of course, look and feel of the map styling. The main purpose of Open Map Tiles is to provide general purpose map with content without the thematic layers, for example, the ski layers. The project starts with the idea to have whole planet on 64 gigabyte flash drive or micro SD card. These times are gone with the wind and with additional features and more data in OpenStreetMap. We are now on 1882 gigabyte MB tiles for a whole planet up to zoom level 14. But nevertheless, now the 100 82 gigabytes micro SD card cost less than 64 uh, gigabyte flash drive in back in 2016. Every month, more than 250 million people could see the vector tiles generated by Optima, Opto, <laughs> Open Map Tiles project. That is a lot of people and also a huge number of different companies and projects which use Open Map Tiles project for generating vector tiles and displaying them on their projects. In the Map Tiler, we are offering vector and raster maps services for Open Map Tiles. We have cloud solution for direct use and downloading with pre-generated packages with weekly updates. You can all find them on MapTiler.com. In general, 
the Open Reptiles project is composed from two repositories, the Open Map Tiles repository and Open Map Tiles tools repository. Open Map Tiles repository defining the schema. The schema defines which data will be showed in particular zoom level. So for example, we would like to show on zoom level one the names of continents and oceans, but on this level, we do not want to show the streets and the cities. On the other hand, for Zoom 14, which is uh, the lowest Zoom level for now, we would like to show almost all possible features which are available. Through make, make file targets is called the second project, Open Up Tiles Tools, which contains all tools necessary for import data into PostgreSQL and generate vector tiles itself. Open Map Tiles project is multi-platform and you can generate your own vector tiles with Docker. After downloading Open Map Tiles project from GitHub, there are seven make file targets for creating vector tiles. The seven steps are there for importing data from different sources. The first target is for download open street map data, for example, from Geofabric or any other source. Second, second target is for importing stable data, such as nature or data set, which are used for upper zoom level, like zero to four, but also for downloading oceans and seas from open street map. Next target is importing borders from downloaded OpenStreetMap data. This target is also used for importing data from downloaded uh, OSN data into PostgreSQL database based on mapping YAML files. After import, import data, there could be a step for import Wikidata. If some features have Wikidata ID, then it is possible to improve data with languages, uh, translations from Wikidata, of course. The next target is import all SQL files which pre-processing or modifying OSM data into desired state. And the last target is for generate vector tiles. And at the end, you have a single MP tiles file ready to use on the web. Now, something about last release. Last release is version 3.12, which was released with two fixing versions. So now it is 3.12.2, but there was, there was 190 merge pull requests done by 30 individual contributors. So it's huge work. That means that there were improved, for example, building aggregation on Zoom level 13, also added features for airport maps or fixed protected areas, or add functionality for simple highlighting national borders. There was also improved SQL performance, unified syntax for SQL. Another big improvement was done on continuous integration with GitHub Actions, where every pull request is tested. As our make file was greatly improved, and now we are able to work with many different areas in one project. There was also done many enhancement on Windows platform or Windows platform where enabling downloading from multiple sources. Version 3.12, there was also developed parallel SQL importing and speeding up updates. I have to mention also updates in Open Up Tiles tools, uh, where was made almost 160 commits with many improvements. For example, consolidating all dockers or using Wikidata Sparkle endpoint. The tool have different releases, so currently the release is 5.3.2.
Another improvement in tools could be mentioned such as multi-thread downloading from OSM data or generating documentation for open optical tools, also available from make target in, in make file in open optiles. Also, there is uh, MVT debugging tools or automatically pushing new Docker images to Docker Hub. In 160 commits, there are many and many more cleanups and enhancement in, in tools, and all, all of them you can be in release notes in the repository. Next release in already in progress, and this version should be 3.13 where we are already made a great improvements for data. For example, added new features for motorway junctions or add a tall tech for highways. Added new mountains features or block mix shops and many other new boy, boy points. Of course, there are other improvements such as highway concurrency where one highway could have many, many marks or many, many uh, segments, which, and also there was improved in fixed road segments, disconnections, or implementation of shipway, shipway labels. In version 3.13, there are already implemented integrity checks for importing OSM updates, or and this is uh, another great change that importing borders are now or will be imported directly from Imposem. But let's. Uh, let's look at the most active contributors in the last year. I would like to thank you all for, for your contribution and the improvements. And any, any even the issue, if you add an issue into the GitHub, it's, it's, uh, it's improving, improving, improving the, the whole, whole Open Web Tiles project. In future release version version four are discussed new possible functionalities which could be added into the release. One discussed area is to add extra zoom, which could be which could which could add more layers and features. Of course, there will be a great improvement in geometry precision, for example, for buildings. There are also ongoing discussion how to handle custom or add-on layers or used with open optical schema. This discussion and implementations suggestions are in drafted pull request number 1003. It would be also nice to have style representing, representing all the layers directly in the repository. And of course, some enhancement, which is currently, which, which in current version will cause breaks in already uh, using map styles. So these changes are waiting for future release, but it will lead to smaller tiles. If you would like to start op with open map tiles, Look at our workshop that we had here on Phosphor G on Monday. It is also on our MapTaller YouTube channel. This presentation will be, will be published on YouTube too. At the end, I would like to summarize this presentation. Uh, Open MapTiles is open source community project developed by companies and map enthusiasts. The latest stable release is 3.12, 
and we are working working on 3.13. If you have any ideas for future release version 4, please write an issue on GitHub. Look at our YouTube channel or openmaptiles.org for more information about openmaptiles. And thank you for your attention. And if you have any questions, I will be glad to answer them. I, I'm sorry that my presentation was a little short, but I think it's, it's Friday and I hope it's okay. Uh, sorry, you are on mute. <laughs> yes, thank you. And thank you for your amazing presentation. It was really clear and uh, you provide a lot of uh, other documents and po pointers to, to the documentation. It was uh, really nice. Um, we have some, some questions from the audience and we have time to, to, to discuss this. Um, of course. One of the first questions is in your detailed workflow with all the steps to create a, a, a server, is it possible to reproject the data to a national SRID, for example? In this moment, the MB tiles specification allows to store only web Mercator projection. So, and it's most common, uh, most common representing the web maps, but yeah. So basically no, but in uh, Maptar Cloud, we have these, these uh, custom coordinates, but in specification is is just for Web Mercator. Yeah, it, it's in some way like, like JSON or GeoJSON that only supports the, the WGS84, but people like to have it in another uh, uh, national or, or local or coordinating systems, but the specification is is clear in the sense that they only support one SRS. Another um, another question is the is are the schema changes documented? The schema changes, uh, the schema changes are documented in release notes. So they are all the the commits. And uh, yeah, the, the documentation of each commits will be in a release note. So for version 3.13, there are no breaking change. So uh, we just adding new features, for example, or new tags. So there are no breaking change. It's planned for or discuss what change we, we will make in version four. And it's in the future and still in discussions. Yes, there, there is also another question regarding downloading data. I saw on your slides that you have a, a first step with a download area, but uh, a user is question is is asking if you can have a custom downloaded area yes of course the import osm step is looking for ebf file so if you have any your own extract you can you can uh, download or use this osm data or of course if you import some your custom open data into the PostgreSQL, you can create a custom layer for this for this um, table or layer in PostgreSQL, and you can generate your own files with your own data. And I would like to point to the our workshop from Monday where we did exactly this that we import the Buenos Aires. Uh, bike stations or bike shops and generate new new player from open data. Good, good. That, 
That's a good pointer for people want to know more about how, how this should be done. And do we have a, another question related to, with this one, but instead of a, a specific uh, area, is it possible to use custom data, not only OpenStreetMap data or other data? And if yes, how to convert it to, to be supported? Uh, yes, you can, you can use your own data or open data or your company data and import them into the PostgreSQL database. And if they are in, uh, in PostgreSQL database, you can, you can write a configuration file and SQL file, which are, and, and create new layer. So you can, yes, you can use your own data, no problem. And in the, in the step, make import SQL, will import the SQL function. And as I mentioned, please look on our uh, GitHub. Uh, it's github.com slash mapteller slash phosphor-g uh, minus workshop, where these steps are, uh, are right by step-by-step -step manual. Detailed. So, that's it. Uh, thank you for answering these questions. And again, thank you for having these those pointers available for people who want to know more and how to use this. And I think the resources uh, for the workshop are really a very nice entry point for people who want to know more about this. So, yes. And thank, thank you. You are welcome. You are welcome. So our next presentation will start in time within eight minutes. We'll keep the schedule as planned so people can move around and it will be easier to, to cut the videos for all presentations. So we have a, a couple of minutes before the next presentation. The next presentation will be done by Marco Montanari. He's already here on the stage behind the scenes with everything ready, but we'll, we'll wait a few minutes to start on time.